Greetings from a rather cold, about zero degrees, Lynchburg, Tennessee. So we just did the Jack Daniels wine, uh, wine, not definitely not wine, Jack Daniels whiskey distillery tour. It was one of their buses, okay? And uh, we did a dry tour, which basically means no tasting at the end. So you can't actually really drink there because it's in a dry county. So the way they get around that is you can do a tasting tour, so you just do little tastings. Um, but everybody has to have the idea if you're going to do that. And one person in my group who's clearly not over, who clearly is over 21, didn't have any ID. And Tennessee is very, very, very strict about that. So I couldn't do that. Um, but it's in a dry county, so they have to do that. Or they can sell you a bottle, and the bottle will cost you basically the cost of the whiskey, and you can buy that and drink that at your discretion. So, anyway, the town of Lynchburg itself is very pretty. Um, funny story about Jack Daniels is how he died is how he died is basically kicking in the safe, breaking his big toe, not telling anyone, and gangrene getting sitting to the point where he had to have a foot amputated, a toe amputated, a foot amputated, a leg amputated, and then finally it eventually killed him. So the lesson is apparently be very careful what you kick, I guess. Anyway, so the distillery kind of was sold for about 20 million post depression, post, um, what do you call it? Post not being able to drink, what's that called? Prohibition by the four kids of the nephew who it was left to. So um, they made quite a bit of money. There's a lot to see there. I would totally recommend the tour. I think they really do a good job of showing you around. You get to see this, the sour mash they create. You get to see the water, which is really the reason that he created the distillery here. Um, like there's just the best water. The cold apparently and the hot that Tennessee gives is the perfect combination for the um, whiskey to seep in and out of the barrels to give it that distinctive color. They make their own barrels, they're not here. So you really get to see a lot. I've done a several distillery tours and I think this is kind of one of the cooler ones, um, as you would expect. And it's a beautiful place to walk around. So I'll, I'll post a bunch of pictures, but really, I would totally recommend this tour. It's totally worth driving through this little town of Lynchburg just to see that. Hi, thanks for watching Andy the Unicorn. Please go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in more fun road trip adventures or more fun things that I'm doing in Tampa or more great food adventures from a Greek Cypriot born and raised in London now living in Florida. Thanks.